Hello model train friends, welcome to another video from our Digital for Beginners series. Today I would like to show you how to get your Z21 start ready for wireless control, either using the wireless LAN mouse or our Z21 control app. You can use your wireless LAN package to do so. Open your wireless LAN package. It includes the router, the power supply unit, the LAN cable to connect the Z21 to the router and the most important thing, the activation code. The activation code is needed to activate the Z21 network port for control commands from our mobile devices. Use the enclosed network cable to connect the router to our control center. You must connect this to one of our yellow ports on the router. It doesn't matter which of the yellow ports you use, but it has to be one of the yellow ports. The other end goes into your control center. You have to turn your Z21 over to do so. You'll find the LAN port on the back. It's best to place the router on the control center and then connect it with the LAN cable. Then plug the enclosed power supply unit into the black port. You can see the center light is flashing red. This is not a problem. It only means that internet is not connected. The multi-mouse is not needed for activation, so we remove it from the control center and put it aside. Activation is also explained step by step in the enclosed manual. But I'll show you now how to do it live. To activate our Z21, you need the free Z21 maintenance tool. This is a small Windows program that you can use to activate the Z21. The maintenance tool is kind of a digital toolbox. Open the Z21 website at www.z21.eu to use it. Under Downloads, we see the software item. Now, click here on the maintenance tool and download the current version. An 8 megabyte Windows program is now downloaded. Open the zip file and run the maintenance exe file. To connect your Z21, you have to switch from your home wireless LAN network with internet connection to our Z21 wireless LAN network. To do so, go to our wireless LAN settings and find your Z21. The wireless LAN network of your Z21 always has this format. Z21 underscore and then four digits. The last four digits are the same numbers as your router and you can find them here. Mine is called Z21 underscore 0707, like the router. If you want to connect to your wireless LAN now, you'll be asked for the network key, which is, as I said, the 8-digit number. We now enter this into our computer and click on Next. The computer now connects to the wireless LAN of your Z21. As you can see, you are now connected to your router. You don't have internet now and you don't need it for activation of the Z21. If you click on Connect in your maintenance tool, it will show you what is connected, your Z21 start. Under Serial Number, you will see the serial number of your Z21. You will need this for activation. It's best just to make a quick note of the six-digit number. Now you have noted the serial number. Next, you need the activation code. You have to scratch it off. I use tweezers. They always works well. It's important to note that each activation code can only be used once. That means you need your own activation code to activate your Z21. This one won't be of any use to you. Now you have your serial number and your activation code. In the next step, you need to reconnect to the internet. To do so, please reconnect to your home router. Now you are connected to your home network and have an internet connection again. Then, switch from the z21.eu page to the home page www.rocco.cc. In the search box at the top, enter the part number of your wireless LAN package, which is 10814. 
Now click on the image, scroll down, and then you will see this item. This takes you to the Z21 activation code. It's important to make sure to enter the serial numbers in the correct order, just as it's written here. Start with the serial number of the activation code, then the three fields with the code and, finally, the serial number of the Z21. Make sure to correctly enter the Z21 serial number. If you make a mistake here, you will activate a Z21 with a different serial number, not yours. If the code has been used once for activation, the code is, as I said before, taken and cannot be used again on a second Z21. Now enter the numbers from your activation code and click on Request Code. Now you'll be asked again for the Z21 serial number so that you can make sure that you have entered the correct number of your Z21. And when you click on Next, you will see your activation code for your Z21. When you have the code, you can write it down on your form or you can also print it out. To use the code, you have to connect to your Z21 network again. Now that you are connected to your Z21 network, open the maintenance tool again and click on Unlock. Your activation code has been checked and, as you can see, the device has been successfully activated. Now confirm with OK. The unlock button now also turns grey. This means that this Z21 is activated forever. Now you have successfully activated your Z21. In one of the next videos, you will see what else you can do with the maintenance tool and what you can do with the app. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.